So anyway, I'm just babbling. Just stinking amazing. Good old Tommy. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got the ride or die tag for y'all today. So these are all of my must have products. The products that if I lost all my makeup, what would I go back out and repurchase? These would be the products. And I'm honestly not sure what were the exact categories in the original tag. I tried to go through her original tag, Jaclyn Hill's tag, um, and look through the categories. But what I did is I just kind of like went through the categories in my mind and like of all of my makeup things and like what do I have ride or dies for. So I have ones for like most every category. So anyway, I'm just babbling. We're gonna talk about ride or die products, so let's get to it. Starting with face primer. So I have never really been like a die hard face primer girl. Like I really didn't even like them for a long time until I found this one. There are a couple others that I do like also, but this is the one that I've used most consistently. I mean, I'm that far into it. So I really do use this most days now and I love it. This is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA++ Treats, Blurs, Protects. I like this because it blurs everything. I do feel like it helps my, my makeup last longer. It um, really just creates like a really nice canvas for your makeup. It just kind of perfects your skin before makeup. So I love this stuff. For foundation, I have to go with my good old Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I wear it in 2-in-1 Desert Beige. This has been my ride or die for years. This is a foundation that like, if my skin is being really sensitive and acne prone, this won't break me out. If my skin is being really oily at the time, this will last through that oil. Like it wears like iron. It looks beautiful on the skin, really good coverage. It just is like a never fail me foundation. It's amazing and I know it's a ride or die for a lot of people. My concealer pick clearly looks like a ride or die because it looks like it's been through the ringer. <laughs> Looks pretty gross, but I love this concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I wear it in NW20. I really like this one because it can do a lot of different things. Like I can use it for under eye circles, I can use it for blemishes, I can use it for redness. I can even use this like if I just wanna wear a little bit of powder or something, I can put this on almost like as a foundation in certain areas. I've heard of people mixing this with like their moisturizer and making almost a foundation out of it. So it just has great coverage, but it also blends really well, it wears well and it's just great. For powder, I have to go with my Ben Nye Luxury Powders. These are the two that I use the most consistently. This is Buff, and this one is Rose Petal. I love to use this one kind of on the center of my face. I use this pretty much every single day to set my under eyes, my T-zone. It just like is very brightening because it's kind of like a pinky sort of a tone. It's really light, but it's just, it's a little bit pinky. Um, and then Buff is just, you know, really close to my skin tone color, but they have a lot of different shades in the luxury powders. I love them because they're finely milled. They look really natural on the skin. They wear well and help control the oil throughout the day. They photograph well. They don't have like a white cast or a flashback or anything like that. So they're just great, reliable powders. I do have these in my freelance kit too and a lot of different colors. It's just great powder. If you're looking for a great powder that sets under eyes and your whole face really well, I love these and would definitely recommend them. My bronzer pick is no surprise whatsoever. I'm sure this is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. I pretty much use this every single day somewhere on my face. I'm either contouring, I'm bronzing up my neck, I'm using it in the crease on my eye look, I'm bronzing up my forehead, somewhere I'm pretty much probably using this at some point in my makeup routine pretty much every single day. It's just, it smells delicious, it smells like chocolate, it's a beautiful just matte bronzer that is very kind of like mid-toned so it's, it's a little bit, well, it's really just medium tone. Like I was gonna say it's a little bit cool tone but really it's not, it's just kind of like right in between. Like that's why I love it so much. Like that's why it works for everything. I mean, it's matte, so you have the option of adding a glow on top of it, um, but you can contour with it, you can warm up with it because it's just right in the middle. It's wonderful. It can do it all. It's great on the eyes 
hands too. It's awesome, and the chocolate smell is just a huge added bonus. I kind of really struggled a little bit with my blush pick, and I almost went with Benefit Rockateur because y'all know I love that blush. I wear it all the time. It goes with everything. I use it in tutorials all the time. So that's definitely one of my most loved blushes. But if I had to just choose one and I would go back out and purchase it again if I lost everything, I have to go with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. And I picked this one, number one, because it's so affordable, but also it's a little bit lighter and more subtle than Rockateur. So I feel like I can wear this with like, even like a black smoky eye. I would still wear Rockateur um, with a black smoky eye, like super dramatic makeup, but I feel like this goes even better. Like it just is very subtle, but really beautiful. It has a little bit of a glow to it. So it's like a blush, but kind of a non-blush where it's not like a, a statement blush in any way, but it still gives some color to your face. Now I'm very fair and this is light. So this works really well for my fair skin tone. So it just is a very like subtle, but beautiful blush. And I love how affordable it is. And for highlighter, I really struggled on this as well because I have a lot of highlighters that I really love and I rotate them a lot. So I was thinking about like, if I lost all my makeup, what would be the thing that I would go back out and repurchase first? And it would be my NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. And the reason, well, there's a lot of reasons, but first off, this is really nice quality. These are beautiful highlighters, such nice quality. But also, you kind of get it all in here. So this would be like my first purchase again because then I would have a lot of different highlighter options, like just really beautiful, unique ones like lavender and yellow, but then also just some really great staple ones, like kind of golden ones, kind of champagne ones. And they're just beautiful. Like they perform beautifully on the skin. I am so impressed with this palette. It's amazing and I think it was like $16 I got it as a gift from my friend Melissa she was so sweet to send it to me um so it's affordable like it's a great palette that you get a lot of different highlighters in there for a great price so that's what I would do like I, I love a lot of highlighters but if I had to go back out and purchase one first off it would be this for eyeshadow primer, I definitely could have gone with my Urban Decay Primer Potion because I use that a lot. But I'm going to go with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer because I use this really often too and it's way more affordable. Like I think this works so well. It really preps your eyelids well, um, controls the oil, helps the shadows be more vibrant and wear well throughout the day. So this would be my go-to. This is my Ride or Die Primer. Eyeshadow good grief i could have gone with a lot of different options because i love eyeshadow i rotate it around a lot so this was a tough one but what is my ride or die i would have to go back out and repurchase it again it would be my urban decay naked palette just the original og because this is just my favorite like it's nostalgic for me because i think that this was my first high-end palette that i can remember purchasing so it's a little bit of nostalgia, but also these are beautiful shadows. I mean, they perform really beautifully. They never fail me. This is one that a lot of times I bring on vacation with me because I just, I know I can get looks that I love out of this palette. So that's why it's my ride or die. Like, it's funny because I really don't talk about this a lot on my channel other than saying, it's my favorite. So I really need to do more tutorials with it and include it in more videos because I really do love it. But I kind of like, it's not that I forget about it, but it just, I rotate my eyeshadows a lot. So it doesn't always make it into the rotation a ton. But if I lost all my makeup, what would be my ride or die? Have to go back out and repurchase it? It would be this. For eyeliner, I was trying to think through, and as far as pencil liners, I have several that I really like, so I don't necessarily have like one ride or die pencil liner. I have several that I really like, but I do have one liquid eyeliner that is definitely ride or die. And it is my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in Trooper. This is so good. I do love the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. That would be like my go-to drugstore one, but I have to if I had to choose one or the other, this is the one that I would choose. This is amazing. Like it is easy to use because it's that kind of like, I don't know, 
marker sort of situation, but it's kind of like a bendy marker, so it's easy to maneuver and manipulate, easy to make a wing. This wears like crazy. It's really dark. It's really black. Um, it's matte, like it really doesn't have any shine to it that I can really tell. Um, it's just awesome. Like it's just super long wearing and easy to work with. For mascara, this is a relatively new favorite of mine, but this is definitely my ride or die mascara because it's just stinking amazing. I mean, that's all there is to say about it. It is so good. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and it is, and mine's drying out so it's extra this way, it's a thick, gloopy, clumpy, goopy, sort of a formula of mascara, but I like that about it because it builds on itself really well, it just gives great volume, it gives you length, it makes your lashes look just really thick and dramatic and black and just amazing. I mean, I would say just use the least amount that you can, like kind of scrape it off on the side because a little bit goes a long way with it, but this gives the look the closest look to false lashes without wearing false lashes that I have found in a mascara. And you guys know I hate false lashes, so I need something like that. And that's also why there are no false lashes favorites or ride or dies in this video because I don't have a ride or die relationship with any false lashes. I can barely even handle them. <laughs> Lip liner, hello. Jordana's Easy Liner for Lips and Tawny. Good old Tawny. She just never fails me. She's a beautiful nude. She's a warm nude. Goes with nudes, goes with pinks, goes with mauves, goes with peaches, goes with everything. You can wear it by itself. You can wear it under a gloss. Super affordable. It's my ride or die. Lipstick, this was darn near impossible because I love lipstick and I have a lot of favorite lipsticks, but if I had to just choose one, what is my ride or die, I would have to go with MAC's Cream Cup. Just because I love the formula on it, this one is a cream sheen, so it's really creamy and comfortable, but also this goes with a lot of different makeup looks. It's just like a beautiful kind of pinky color, um, and I usually pair it with Tawny, so it kind of gives it a little bit more of a nude sort of a tone to it, like a, a nude spin. So it goes with a lot of different things. It's comfortable. It's feminine. It smells good. I love MAC lipsticks. I mean, they're one of my ride or dies just as like a formula. The MAC lipsticks I love, but Cream Cup is my ride or die lipstick. Liquid lipstick, definitely the Ofra ones. I don't necessarily have like a favorite shade because I really enjoy a lot of them, but just the formula in general, these are my favorites just because they're the most comfortable in my opinion and they smell really nice. They're kind of more of a moussey sort of a formula. They are so good if you've never tried them. Today I'm wearing Pasadena and this is kind of like a 90s brown sort of a shade, like a brownie nude. It's got like some warmth to it. These are just so good. Every time I try different liquid lipsticks, I'm always like, oh, my Ofra ones, like they're just so good. And they have so many different colors. So you could definitely find a shade in the line that would, I think, be something you would enjoy because they have so many options. So yeah, today I'm wearing Pasadena, but these are my ride or die. Butter gloss, definitely the NYX Butter Glosses. I just find myself reaching for these more than any other glosses, so that's why they're my ride or die. But as far as a shade, Eclair is the one that I reach for the most. This one is just a beautiful kind of like light bubblegum pink. It's so pretty. I really don't wear this one a ton by itself, but I love wearing this layered over other things. Like it's gorgeous over Cream Cup. It's gorgeous over Tawny. It's just a beautiful like sweet girly pink. I love these because they're comfortable. They're not very long wearing, but they're not sticky at all and they smell yummy too. And lastly for perfume, I have to go with Prada Candy. I just really love how like sweet and girly this smells. I mean, it is so like vanilla candy, very sweet. Um, and it's kind of funny because I'm really sensitive to scents and perfumes, but ironically sweet ones don't bother me as much as like um, like musky ones or warm scents, those really get to me. Um, and then sometimes clean scents get to me too. So 
Sweet scents don't seem to bother me as much, so, and I like the way that they smell. Um, and Prada candy is one that I find myself reaching for a lot. Okay guys, so that wraps up my ride or die tag. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Thank you so much to several of my friends for tagging me. I'm gonna tag some people down below, but if you are watching this video, you are officially tagged. I would love to see your videos. If you don't make videos, then just let us know some of your ride or dies down below. I would love to know some of your all-time favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.